and thou shalt teach them diligently. Assumptions. Even the heathen know that when you assume stuff, that it results in a ridiculous situation for you and for me. But thank be to the true God and eternal life, Jesus Christ, for his written word. Jesus Christ tells us in John 5, 39, to search the scriptures, for in them you think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. The written Holy Scriptures book of the Lord is the authority settled in heaven which contains the books God will open to judge us by. Psalms 119.89, Revelation 20.12. Therefore, Brother Carl, and I pray all souls that profess Christ Jesus will go by the written word of God and don't make assumptions. Hey, where in the Holy Scriptures does it say Jesus Christ is white? It doesn't. That's an assumption. And actually to the contrary of Revelation 1.15. B. Where in the Holy Scriptures does it say Jesus Christ has long hair? It doesn't. It's a shame for a man to have long hair. 1 Corinthians 11, 14. C. Where in the Holy Scriptures does it say Jesus Christ told the apostles, When you're baptized, say, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. It doesn't. That's an assumption. Actually, Jesus Christ says, when ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, Luke 11, 2. Not when you baptize, say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. D, where in the Holy Scriptures does it say faith alone is eternal salvation? It doesn't. That's an assumption. Actually, Believing alone is to the contrary of Philippians 1.29 and James 2.20-22. 20 Eternal salvation is for them that obey Jesus Christ. Hebrews 5.9. E. Where in the Holy Scriptures does it say, once saved, always saved? It doesn't. That's an assumption. This is to the contrary of Luke 12, 45, 46. That doctrine is based on man-made interpretations. Yet, there is no private interpretation of the scriptures. We learn by what is written in the scriptures. Romans 15, 4. These are but a few of the assumptions that dominate the current teachings for commandments, the doctrines of mankind today. They must repent and follow the written word of God. Amen and amen.